A seasoned hunter, Alex Thompson, rescues a dying wolf from a frozen river. But he never imagined the wolf would one day repay the debt and do something unbelievable that no human could imagine. This is the incredible story of Alex Thompson, a hunter, and his unexpected bond with a wild wolf. In the dense forests of the northern wilderness, Alex lived a life of solitude and purpose. A skilled hunter, Alex had mastered the art of tracking and catching game. Over the years, he had become known for his respect for nature. He never poached and strictly adhered to the hunting seasons, taking only what was necessary. Alex's journey into hunting was not a straightforward path. Born and raised in the bustling city, he pursued a career in veterinary medicine and worked on a farm. But when the farm shut down, Alex found himself jobless and struggling to provide for his family. Hunting, a skill he had learned from his grandfather, became his way to put food on the table. What began as a childhood hobby soon became a means of survival. Alex's passion for the wilderness, however, was a constant source of tension in his marriage. His wife grew increasingly frustrated with his prolonged absences. Their home was filled with daily arguments and strife. Her resentment reached a tipping point when she found comfort with another man. The betrayal was the final blow to their already strained relationship. Eventually, they decided to divorce. Alex, in an attempt to make amends, gave her and their son Liam the apartment and all his savings. He retreated to his grandfather's old cabin in the forest, a place where he felt a deep connection to his roots. As time passed, Alex's bond with nature deepened. He continued to hunt. Despite the separation, he remained close to his son Liam. Every summer, Liam would visit the cabin, spending his days learning about the wilderness, tracking animals, and understanding the delicate balance of nature. These were cherished moments for both father and son. One harsh winter day, Alex needed to travel to a neighboring village to gather supplies. The shortest route was across a frozen river. He carefully navigated the ice, mindful of its fragility. As he made his way, he noticed a dark shape struggling in the icy water. Intrigued and concerned, Alex approached and discovered a wolf, its paws desperately clinging to the ice. Without hesitation, Alex sprang into action. He used his hunting knife to break the ice surrounding the wolf and managed to pull the heavy animal onto solid ground. He wrapped the wolf in his coat and carried it back to his cabin, his muscles straining under the weight. Back at the cabin, Alex placed the wolf near the stove and used heated water bottles to warm its frozen paws. Hours passed and the wolf's breathing steadied. Exhausted, Alex dozed off, only to be awakened by a low growl. The wolf, now conscious but weak, eyed him wearily. Over the next few days, Alex cared for the wolf, feeding it and nursing it back to health. He moved the animal to the barn for its comfort and his safety. Slowly, the wolf regained its strength and began to trust Alex. When summer arrived, Liam joined his father at the cabin. Together, they continued to care for the wolf, providing it with vitamins and massage therapy. As the season changed, the wolf returned to the wild, jumping over the fence and disappearing into the forest. Alex explained to Liam that the forest was the wolf's true home. The following winter, during the holidays, Liam visited again. This time, he was 16 and eager to spend more time with his father. One afternoon, Alex and Liam decided to take a walk deep into the forest, hoping to spot some wildlife. The forest was quiet and serene, the snow crunching under their boots as they made their way through the dense trees. As they walked, Liam suddenly stopped in his tracks, his eyes wide with surprise. Ahead of them, partially hidden by the trees, was a wolf pack, and among them, he recognized a familiar figure, the wolf they had nursed back to health. Dad, look, it's him, the wolf we saved, Liam whispered, his voice filled with excitement. Alex squinted through the trees, his heart pounding. It was indeed the same wolf, but something was different. The wolf was with his pack now, and there was a fierce look in his eyes. Liam took a step forward, wanting to approach the wolf he remembered fondly. But as soon as Liam moved closer, the wolf's demeanor changed. He bared his teeth and growled, his hackles rising. The rest of the pack followed suit, growling and showing signs of aggression. 
Liam's heart sank as he realized that the wolf didn't recognize him. The bond they had formed seemed to mean nothing in the wild. Liam, stop! Alex said urgently. He's with his pack now, and they see us as a threat. But why, Dad? We helped him. Why is he acting like this? Liam asked, his voice filled with confusion and hurt. The wild changes animals, son, Alex said softly. Just then, the lead wolf made a mock charge towards them, snapping his jaws in warning. Slowly, Liam, Alex instructed, his voice calm but firm. We need to back away slowly. Show them we're not a threat. They began to retreat, step by step, never turning their backs on the wolves. The wolf pack watched them closely, growling softly and ready to attack if necessary. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached a safe distance, and the wolves turned away, melting back into the forest shadows. Liam's heart was heavy with sadness and confusion. Why didn't he remember us, Dad? He asked, his voice breaking. Alex sighed, placing a comforting arm around his son's shoulders. Sometimes, even the strongest bonds can fade when faced with the call of the wild. We did what we could for him and that was enough. Now he's back where he belongs. Liam couldn't shake the image of the wolf's fierce eyes and the way he had growled at them. It was a harsh lesson in the realities of nature. Days passed and Liam's attachment to the wolf slowly began to fade. One winter afternoon, Alex sent Liam to gather firewood from a nearby grove. As Liam moved carefully through the forest, he reached a frozen stream. The ice looked strong, so he decided to cross it to get to a fallen tree that had good firewood. As Liam stepped onto the ice, it suddenly broke beneath him with a sharp crack. He fell into the freezing water, the cold taking his breath away. He tried to grab the ice's edge, but it kept breaking, making it impossible to pull himself out. Panic set in as he began to lose strength. Just when hope seemed lost, Liam heard a familiar growl. Looking up, he saw the wolf standing at the edge of the stream, staring intently at him. This was the same wolf they had saved, but now it was accompanied by its pack. The wolf seemed to hesitate for a moment, then cautiously approached the hole in the ice. It leaned over, gripping Liam's coat with its teeth. Using all its strength, the wolf began to pull him out of the water, the other wolves watching and growling at Liam. Once on solid ground, the wolf nudged him, as if encouraging him to get up. The lead wolf growled, showing its teeth. But it wasn't an act of aggression. It was a command to its pack to stay back. Liam took a few shaky steps back, understanding the message. The wolf that had saved him gave one last look before turning to rejoin its pack. With a final glance, the wolves disappeared into the forest, leaving Liam standing there, breathless and grateful. He made his way back to the cabin, stumbling through the snow. When Alex saw his son wet and shivering, he quickly bundled him up in blankets and sat him by the fire. Liam explained the entire incident, his teeth chattering from the cold. Alex looked towards the forest, his heart swelling with a mix of gratitude. I guess some bonds are never broken, he said softly. Though they never saw the wolf again, Alex and Liam would always remember the extraordinary bond they had shared with the wild creature and the life it had saved.